Hey there, Lately Big Planet fans. Are you ready to take your modding game to the next level? Introducing LBP Asset Studio. This is a tool I have been working on for a few years. It will allow you to easily create or modify any asset possible within the mainline LBP engine, such as backgrounds, levels, objects, materials and many more. In this video I will be demonstrating the basics of the tool. And in future videos I will explain in detail how to create specific assets and how the game world is set up and works. The tool is open source and available for free on my GitHub. It is still very much work in progress so don't be surprised if there are a few bugs or certain features are not yet implemented. To set it up simply download the jar file, it requires Java 11 or up to run, so if it doesn't launch on your system you just need to download JRE 11. Here we are, I will run through the main screens and explain what they each do. First things first. Here are the settings. You can adjust the color palette of the tool to anything you would like. As you can see mine is set up green, to reflect the color of my aura. There are also settings for the control scheme. For convenience sake if you use the scroll wheel in the viewer, it changes the move speed. Next up we have the Archive tab, here is where you provide your game data or profile to pull resources from. It takes a little bit for all entries to be processed if there are a lot included, such as in the LBP3 game data. After they have loaded, you can select a translation to find plan or level files by in-game name. In the scene tab I have included these helpers. One is for outlining the level boundaries, layer positions and thicknesses. The other is for visualizing the pod and planets when making pod backgrounds. Once a few elements are loaded in, you will be able to see them in the viewer, and with the preview mode on the top right disabled, you can see the transparent parts of objects. With it enabled, fog will become visible to help with making level settings presets. Once you select a thing, you can edit it through the current selection tab. Under it you can rename the thing, parent or group it to a different thing, and add, remove or edit parts of it. Finally. Once you are finished with your creation, head to the export screen, where you can export it as a plan or a bin, aka a level file. Every little setting can be tweaked here, but if you are overwhelmed by the settings you can use the templates I have provided, or import the metadata from an existing plan or bin. Well, thoughts everything for the introduction, like mentioned before, more videos are on the way to explain things in more details. If you are having issues or need help with things join the Imagisphere Discord server, I'm active in it and will be able to provide help easily. 
Thanks for watching and hope you like my tool. Goodbye.